From Fire Lord to Prisoner to Death, here is Ozai's life after the war. And during the very last episode of Avatar The Last Airbender, Zuko becomes Fire Lord and he throws his father in prison. Their last interaction in the cartoon goes like this. Banishing me was the best thing you could have done for my life. It put me on the right path. Perhaps your time in here can do the same for you. Why are you really here? Because you're going to tell me something. Where is my mother? But what ends up happening after that? Ozai, I know, surprisingly enough, doesn't tell Zuko anything about where his mother is, but he does warn him about the stresses of being the Fire Lord. He tells Zuko that the job isn't easy. The throne comes with a lot of pressure, and it's going to change you. But if you can withstand the heat, you'll become something more. He then tells Zuko out of all the people in the world, he's the only one who can help him with that pressure. Now Zuko doesn't like hearing this, and he leaves. Ozai says, I'll be waiting for you, son. Now, Ozai actually ends up being right. We see in Avatar The Promise, Zuko is in fact struggling with the stress of being the Fire Lord. People are constantly trying to assassinate him. One, because he is the Fire Lord and that inherently just gets a target on your back. But two, because this wasn't a peaceful transition of power. Ozai still had some supporters out there and not everybody was a fan of Fire Lord Zuko. After all, the transition wasn't smooth and it was just massive changes all at once. Zuko ends up needing help. Him and Aang are going through a dilemma. Zuko wants to keep the Fire Nation colonies in the Earth Kingdom, but Aang wants to keep the Four Nations separate. And because of this, Zuko seeks guidance. And again, the only man who can really help him is Ozai. Without telling anyone, Zuko goes and secretly visits Ozai and says, I need your advice, father. You can see Ozai giving him this smirk. Without bending, Ozai is powerless and he hates that. So Zuko needing his help is everything. He can potentially sway Zuko into his own beliefs or maybe even manipulate him from the sidelines, just something to make him feel some of that power again. Ozai ends up comparing being Fire Lord to a moment from Zuko's childhood. He tells Zuko about a time that he saw a hawk attacking a crab turtle. He didn't like that the crab turtle was going to lose its life, but ultimately, he knew that the hawk had earned its meal and the right to eat. So Zuko was torn between saving the crab turtle or letting the hawk starve. Zuko just stood there and couldn't make a decision in time, and a giant wave ended up taking him out into the ocean. Now what Ozai is trying to get at here is that there is no such thing as right or wrong when you're the Fire Lord apart from what you decide. You're the arbiter of good and bad. Now we actually don't see much of Ozai for a few whole comic books actually. Uh, we, we do see him for a little bit in the very next comic book which is a search uh, where Ozai is forced to have a meeting with Azula but nothing gets done. Azula has still lost her mind and Ozai is still riding that high of manipulating Zuko in the previous comic book. The ending of the Smoke and Shadow comics actually show Ozai and Ursa meeting again after all of these years. Ozai is upset that Ursa is back in the Fire Nation. He reminds her of the promise he made her the day she left. He tells her he would kill everyone she's ever known and loved but now he's going to do much, much worse. You know, it's it's almost sad seeing Ozai like this. Like, he used to be this scary guy. He was the Fire Lord. He was gonna defeat Aang, and he was gonna do all these things, and he clearly can't do any of that anymore. His bending was taken away, he lost his throne, and now he's just a regular old man sitting in a jail cell. Now, Ursa basically tells him exactly that. Ozai ends his run in the canon realm of Avatar by slinging mindless insults and empty threats at Ursa. And this was the last time we've seen him in the official comic books. However, I found this comic online that simultaneously extends Ozai's story, but ends it at the same time. Here is Zuko meeting Ozai for the final time. Because of Ozai's horrible reign as a Fire Lord and his inability to change, he spends the rest of his life in this cell with no chance of redemption at all. Zuko goes to check in on old man Ozai. He's hunched over. Zuko goes to look at him, and Ozai falls over. This clearly shocks Zuko, but he soon realizes what had just happened. He closes Ozai's eyes, and that is how his story ends.